Okay, it's the end of the day and I wanted to quickly just share something uh, with you. I've been out for a run. It's fairly cold outside. And yet again, of course, my uh, watch, that is uh, this Garmin here, has reported some rather odd uh, heart rate uh, values. Uh, the watch, like uh, many others, uh, uses LEDs uh, here, uh, recording uh, from the wrist uh, the blood flow uh, to estimate or actually measure uh, heart rate. Uh, and whilst I was running, uh, I was running fairly slowly, six minutes uh, a K or so, um, and my heart rate that was being reported was uh, unbelievably high. Uh, the watch was reporting a heart rate value of 180 beats uh, a minute. And I know that's way above uh, my uh, maximum heart rate. Uh, and indeed, it was remarkably close uh, to my cadence. And on the screen here, uh, you can see the recording from Strava of the heart rate uh, and the pace. And you can see the heart rate over here at uh, over 180 beats uh, a minute. Uh, so what's the problem? Why is it that these watches uh, really can't uh, report a decent heart rate uh, measurement? And this is even after uh, six kilometers of running. Uh, well, I've got something which I hope is going to be able to show that. And here is a second uh, LED uh, sensor. This is a polar uh, Verity Sense. It's essentially the replacement for the uh, OH-1. Um, what I've got here on my screen is a little application I've written which can pull out uh, via Bluetooth the stream of the uh, data, the LED-based data, um, uh, which the uh, circuitry on uh, the Verity Sense uses to calculate the heart uh, rate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this sensor on my uh, wrist and show you uh, what it's trying to extract heart rate uh, from. Now it's a little bit loose the device here so I'm just going to uh, hold it myself and pull it a little bit uh, tight. Okay so let's uh, actually start the uh, data streams off. So uh, what you can see here um, on the screen are a few different traces. Uh, the red trace uh, with the little uh, blips above it, uh, that is the Polar H10 uh, chest strap that I'm wearing. So that's a conventional uh, chest strap. And I'm uh, collecting through this uh, little application I've written here the uh, uh, data. Uh, from that strap. And you can see then the uh, green traces here, and those are the recordings from this uh, Verity Sense. And if I remain absolutely still, you can just about make out that there are some uh, values uh, related to the heart rate coming from that. And I'll just blow those traces up a little bit. You can see how noisy that signal is and how if I even make simple little movements, uh, that signal becomes impossible to interpret. So the green uh, trace here is the trace from this Verity Sense. Uh, now, you can imagine that the algorithms within the Verity Sense are going to struggle uh, to record a meaningful signal. Uh, and, and if you're running with your arm moving up and down like this, then really the, the signal is going to be dominated by the movement. Now, of course, your blood flow signals can be much uh, uh, better than that. They tend to get better as you get uh, warmer. But if I shove my thumb here uh, on the sensor, let's just see if I get it. You get You don't, get, you don't get much better reading. God. Oh, there we go. 
So if I put my thumb here on the sensor, you can see that you get a somewhat uh, better reading of uh, blood flow. And uh, of course, you have to be a bit careful by as to how hard you push with your thumb, because if you push too hard, you can actually block the blood flow entirely. Um, so here in my lounge, it's somewhat cold. The heating is turned down, so the blood flow isn't uh, great. But you can see how much more robust uh, that signal is there and the blips compared to uh, a recording here from my uh, wrist or forearm where there's virtually no blood flow signal. So this is the problem that these uh, sensors uh, are having. Uh, they're trying to record a signal which in cold weather is uh, very, very uh, small indeed. Uh, the wrist is simply not the optimum location uh, for recording uh, this kind of LED-based uh, blood flow data from. And you can see how much more robust the uh, red trace is here, the actual uh, H10 strap. So that's really all I wanted to show.